All right. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. What's up, everyone? OJ here from Player Essence. Welcome back to another stream. I'm terribly sorry for getting this stream way later than I thought I would. I wanted to get this stream, like, in the morning. Like, 10 o'clock my time or 11 o'clock my time. But I'm sick. I've got a sore throat. I've been taking medicine. I've got my Ricola. My Ricola. Ricola. <laughs> you guys remember that commercial? Got my Ricola's here. I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna do my best to stream to the best of my ability. But my voice, obviously, not quite as good. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know how I got sick, but I got sick. Um, but I'm recovering. My nose was way stuffier last night, and my sore throat was actually worse. So. I felt good enough to stream, you know what I'm saying, I, f I felt good enough, you know, so I just decided, you know, I'm gonna just stream anyway, but we're gonna be a little, little get by my voice, obviously you guys can tell my voice is not there, <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's all good, there was one time, I, well, I think it was like in 2016, I was like literally dying, like my voice was, my voice was like this, and I still did PE news videos, so I mean, this wasn't gonna, this wasn't gonna stop me. It's gonna, I've gotta be damn near dead for me not to stream. Like, literally, like, it, I've gotta literally be dead for me not to stream. Um, so, so there you go. Um, let me get the Twitch chat up. Sorry, guys, I'm doing a little bit of late, late, um, late stream organization here. My brain's not working completely normal, you know, so, right now, just because I'm sick. But, it's okay, it's okay. Shout out to everybody who's already here. It was a very short notice on the stream, yet we still got 70-something plus people here. So, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, okay, we got some um, we got some Tier 1 subscribers, too. So, thank you so much um, to I'm really it. Uh, Mom, uh, um, Mamal2 with the Tier 1. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Also, Jay Gordonson with the Tier 1 as well. Thank you so much. I'm really feeling that, too. I'm really uh, so, thank it. you so much. Appreciate that. And also, um, Sam the uh, Electra with the Twitch follow. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Welcome to the Fire Nation. The soul of power burns within all of you guys. Um, also, shout outs to um, Derek Smith with the doll donation. Appreciate that. Thank you so much, Derek Smith. Appreciate the doll donation. The soul, um, she can Zelda look upon you, my man. Also, uh, focus on me, plays. Focus on me uh, with, the uh, with the Twitch host. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Um, <laughs> get some rest, Nurse Mandy. <laughs> I got plenty of rest. I got plenty of rest. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Mandy Lee Plays. With the Doll 99 donation, it says, get some rest after the stream. <laughs> Nurse Mandy. Yes, I will definitely get some rest. But I slept for like 10 hours, though. Like, I got I got a lot of sleep. But, um, but yeah, I'll, I'll take it easy after the stream. Um, but your boy still got to work, so... Um, so yeah, yeah, I don't, don't ever take any day for granted. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes you guys are sick and y'all still come out to the stream. There's been times where you guys, sometimes you guys got, you guys got like hella bills. Y'all still donate. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, if I'm sick, I could still stream. So a lot of you guys struggling and still help me out. So <clears throat> even when I'm not feeling my best, I'm still going to stream. Like I said, I got to be damn near dead for me not to stream on a day. Um, all right. So let's go ahead and let's get into some of the uh, ninja news. Um, basically, we had a video this morning on Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Um, basically, like a Switch Pro concept video. Like, what could we see from a Switch Pro um, and how that would affect Xenoblade Chronicles 2 and Xenoblade Chronicles 2 Torn of the Golden Country. So, it was just kind of ideas and stuff that I've kind of gathered from talking to various different people, comment sections, chats, uh, Spawn Spawncast crew. And just kind of put my own thoughts into it about how it can affect it and everything. So I had that video up in the morning. You guys are watching it. I think it's near 2,000 views. So thank you so much. Appreciate that, guys. And um, yeah, make sure you guys check. If you haven't seen it, make sure you check it out after this stream. It is up on the channel. Um, that's pretty much it for the Ninja News this week, guys. Um, I was planning on doing Far Cry. Uh, I might still stream Far Cry tonight if I feel better. If not, that's cool. We'll, we'll do it some other time. Um, but anyway, let's go and get into the shout outs. So if you're here, um, the Pokemon, wait, hold up, did you say that Pokemon music annoying? Wait, did you say, wait, Poke Floats is annoying? Bro, Vesper, what is, dude, what are you talking about? Poke Floats is one of the best tracks in, in the game. What you, what you talking about? Um, but, uh, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and give the shout outs. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna give a shout out to everybody but Vesper who said that, man. 
it was on for less than 15 minutes. It was on for about nine, about nine minutes or 10 minutes. My, my runoff on the clock is only about, is only about 10 minutes. What you talking about? Anyway, let's move on from that. No, it's all good, Vesper. Um, but thank you for the donation, Manny Lee. Thank you for the donation, uh, Derek Smith. Let's go ahead and get you up on the top stream, uh, stop, top stream ninja here, Mandy. Um, dude, Strange Bear, stop spamming, my man. I, I see you. Did you did you hit your head on the keyboard and sometimes somehow hit OJ like fifteen times? Um, let's see here. Um, Mandy Lee uh, plays. Um, let's see here. Dollar ninety nine. Also, shout out to Fury Tiger. With the uh, with the doll donation, and he says, uh, started all over on Zinnobay Chronicles 2 today. Super enjoying it. Play Gourmet Date Theme. All right, man. We'll definitely get that for you. All right. Let's go in and get that Gourmet Date Theme. That's a good thing, man. Shout outs to uh, Fury Tiger, co-captain of the Viking Nation. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate that. Um, mm, mm. All right. Here we go. It's always good. All right. Darth Wesker's here. What's up, Darth Wesker? Shout out to Lee Ninja Aron. Good to see you. Uh, good to see you here. Sands Dies 47. What's good? Blaze 2000. What's up? Rex. What's good? Boy Z. What's up? Jakes, Jakesters. The, the Night of Darkness. What's up, man? Uh, shout outs to Aron with the $2 donation. says, play the Pokemon Center healing song. Oh, all right. I'll do that. <laughs> Thanks, Aaron. I appreciate that. Uh, that also gets you on the top stream ninja as well, man. So thank you. Um, and, and, all right. Thank you for the $2 donation, man. Thank you for using Streamlabs as well. I appreciate that. <laughs> and we'll play it right after this song. Um, let's see here. Who else? Matt, shout out to Lee Ninja. Matthew Hammond is here as well. Uh, Andy Mine P with the $2 donation. This is my doc. Um, my name's Dr. Andius. I'm qualified doctor. Ignore all the Chinese menu like writing on my certificate. My uh, prognosis says you should have five minutes of Silver Gunner, 10 minutes of nonstop uh, is a uh, crush 40, and, and end it off with a 15 minutes of Buck Bumble. That'd be $500. <laughs> I don't know, man. I think I might, I might end myself if I had to do all that, bro. Thank you, Andy, my P, for the $2 donation. Appreciate that. <laughs> Uh, yo, what's up, Rex? Good to see you here in the chat. Don't call me Danny. What's up, man? <laughs> it ain't easy being no Jeezy. <laughs> uh, the Mango Man. What's up, man? How you doing today? You on the wrong account? Well, go ahead and switch it over, my boy. Um, Braxton's here as well. What's up, Braxton? Legend plays. What's up, Legend plays? Um, Strange Bear once again. What's up, Strange Bear? Fairy Tiger once again. Jetty, Elite Ninja Jetty. All right, got a new member, got a new member. Shout outs to Sonic1093 hitting us with that new elite membership. Hopefully you enjoy your emotes, my boy. And you get access to our exclusive Discord. That's in the community tab. Make sure you check it out. Just scroll down a bit and you'll see it there. Uh, so you can play games against me on like Nintendo Switch, like Smash Brothers and stuff like that. So... Atachi is upon us, my boys and girls. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. You guys give some love to Sonic1093. With that Sharingan. Thank you so much. Ian Morley. What's up, Ian? Good to see you here, Elite Ninja. Trey Aikens. What's up, man? How you doing today? Anthony Albert is here as well. What's good? J2 Blue. Good to see you here. Good to see the Elite Ninja showing up today. Shout out, shout outs. Yo, thank you so much, Sonic. Hey, we're getting really close, man. I think we had 100 and... I got to put up a counter or something. I think we had like 140 members. So, we're trying to get to 200 by the time Fire Emblem... Um, Fire Emblem Three Houses comes out. So, that'd be dope. Um, DeAndre Jackson's here. What's good? Elite Ninja. Elite Ninja Geek is here as well. What's up, guys? Good to see all you guys run through today. Excuse me. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Um, Alucard, what's good? Ashton Bowman. Uh, my day is going okay. I'm just a little sick, but my day is going okay. Kaido J. 
uh brennan uh stretcher streacher brennan shout outs man sorry if i butchered your name junior Vallejo, what's good man um is it de uh is it delete i think it means delete what's good man yeah yeah honey i got my tea i got my tea right here i got my tea i got those ricolas i'm gonna be taking some um some day cool and stuff later so it's a lot better guys yesterday like last night i was like seriously my throat felt like it was completely dried up it was like i could barely speak so it's actually a lot i'm doing a lot better i usually recover really quickly you know so like if i ever have some type of illness or something like that like I, i'm usually pretty good at recovering fast as long as i take what i need to take so i'm okay striker okay brennan striker okay gotcha gotcha all right cool man sorry that i mispronounced it um i'm on the west coast time zone strange bear west coast pacific um fire blast what's good fire blast it's pronounced day daylay daylay i thought it was delete it's like eight delete daylay my bad daylay 83 i butchered it uh yo shout out sonic thank you so much for the double the support thank you so much man i appreciate that um paint fat purple it says happy sunday good to see you here man uh hey oj there's new graphics in the background looks good yeah yeah well we've been using this for a couple weeks yo shout outs to matthew evan with the almost toby blessed let's go and he says Donated $10, making you the top stream ninja, Matthew. Also making you the weekly top ninja, since the, the, the week does reset on Sunday. And he says, $10 to end the stream early. We don't need dead essence. All right, we'll see, guys. I can't I can't promise that. I appreciate the 10, Matthew. But Matthew, you know my work ethic. I can't promise that I'm going to end the stream early. I can't promise that, but I'll do my best to at least consider it. I'll do my best to consider that. But, I mean, like I said, I've got to be pretty much dead for me not to stream. You guys saved my life. But then again, my life is worthless if I'm not alive to you guys, right? But I think I'll be okay. But I'll, I'll do my best. I, I might end it a little bit early. <laughs> it's a little, little early, a little early. Um, thank you, Matthew. I appreciate it. You guys give some love to Matthew. Um, the $10 donation, becoming the top string ninja, the string boss, and also the weekly top ninja for this week. So, shout outs. Um, although, I do got to make this smaller. Because it's getting in the way of the Hokage mode. Let's go ahead and put that up right there. There we go. Um, I'm working every day. Um, Galaxy B. What's good, Galaxy B? Good to see you here. All right. Next up, we got uh, Pokemon Healing Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, no, yeah, we got Pokemon Healing Center. Pokemon Healing. Is it, is it, um, I don't know. I don't know how to. Okay, here we go. There we go. I can only listen to this for about three minutes um, before I turn this music off. So we got about we got about two to three minutes with this song because this song triggers me every time it comes on. <laughs> this is your day off. Uh, yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> Smash that like button. MFS Gameplay says, Play says, what up, man? I'm here for the bit before I go to get some eats. All right. Don't die. That's the goal, right? Um, all right, guys. Let's get into this Wolfenstein Youngbloods uh, controversy. So, uh, RGT85 put up a, a rant video. It was awesome. It was funny. Because uh, it's always funny to see him rant. Shout out to Avadon with the $5 stream lab. Shimmy. Ninja funds for your health. They're gonna, those are going to go straight to more Ricola. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, the shout out to Avadon. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate the $5 donation. Blessed today. Thank you. Fairy Tiger also donated a dollar. Says, um, Xenoblade Argentum Trade uh, Guild Day theme. Go! All right, we'll get that. 
All right, take it easy, Barbarian. All right, we'll see you later, man. Rilo, what's good? Nindy Gamer, Murdoch Loco, what's up, guys? Twitch boys, I see you. Um, but yeah, man. Um, Young Bloods is going to be a, at retail. It's going to be an empty. Wolfenstein Young Bloods is going to be an empty box. Well, it's going to have a, a a download code for the game. So a lot of people are upset that the, it's going to have it. The, the, it seems like a lot of people are directing anger at the fact that there's a retail version with an empty box. It's like they wouldn't have been as upset if it was just digital only. But the fact that they have a retail version with the empty box triggers them. It's like they're. It's like. It's like semantics get the, the the best of people because if this was digital only they'd be like oh man digital only but okay whatever you know but it seems like since there is a retail version that comes with the download code so that at least they're trying to give you a box people got more mad at that than it being digital only <laughs> which i always find funny it's like that's all i've seen it's like why sell a retail copy with only a digital code in there they're giving you an option to at least get some artwork in a box and people are mad that it's that because the, the the game on the on the on the eShop is the same price. It's thirty dollars. It's price parity across all platforms. So no matter where, no matter what situation you get yourself into, Bethesda pretty much. I, if I was Bethesda, I probably would have chose the same option for me if the cartridges is gonna cost too much. Because this, I mean, because otherwise you're gonna have to charge more, right? You're gonna have to charge thirty five dollars or forty dollars for the Switch version of the game if you put a cartridge because of the size of the game. You're not getting a regular $60. So I can see why people are upset if you're a Wolfenstein fan. I totally get it. I like physical media myself. I hate Wolfenstein though. To be honest, I don't like I don't like Wolfenstein. But this can affect anybody in whatever game, you know. I'm sorry guys, I'm really sick, so I'm trying to keep my thoughts together. Um and my voice is shot. But I can understand from both points of view, you know, from people who um who like physical. I like physical, you know, so not having that option. Okay, this Pokemon music. Thanks, Arn. I appreciate it, but this Pokemon music's gotta go. All right, um, it's making me <laughs> it's making me think worse. Um, all right, let's get some normal music here. Argento, <laughs> uh, Argento uh, music. Um, so so yeah, let's see here. They have to know that it's unacceptable. It's not even about being. It's, it's not even about being unacceptable. I don't necessarily think digital only isn't unacceptable. That's the thing. Like you guys have been, if if a game is digital only, is that is that unacceptable? I would say most people think that it's not. I mean, it's it'd be preferable if it was physical. But to say that a game that that having a retail box with a download code is unacceptable, I I have to disagree with that because people have already accepted digital as acceptable. Now streaming only is unacceptable. Because that's solely based on your internet connection at any given time. So I'll say that's unacceptable. But to sit here and say, oh, well, if a game is digital only, that's unacceptable. I don't think so. I don't think many people, I don't think everybody thinks that way. Because many people buy digital games only. Like digital, digital is definitely accepted in, in this. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that it's unacceptable. I would say it's not preferable. But I wouldn't say it's, they have to know it's unacceptable. Especially when you're not behind the scenes and you don't know the cost. Now, and if you don't like it, then that's one thing. Um, but to say that it's unacceptable at a completely digital only, no, that's not the case. Have you ever bought a digital game? I'm pretty sure you've bought a digital game before, right? So that's kind of hypocritical. So if you've ever bought a digital game that was also physical, then I think that's a hypocritical statement. Um, in my opinion, at least. We've all bought digital games before that, that have been physical. Let's just be real. Everybody here has bought a digital game that's also offered in retail, too. Um... Let's see here. Uh, um, I know. Uh, real talk. The physical is just for the box art for me. Um, that's how some people are. I mean, for me, I'd rather have the option because obviously this game was going to be a digital only game because of the size. They weren't going to spend the money on the cart and then charge $30. You're going to be losing money because of the size of the game, right? So, I mean, with Wolfenstein 2, they charge 60 for that. So it's like, okay, well, you're going to get, you're going to make your money back, right? With that. But for this, this is $30. So it's either they raise the price of the game towards 40 bucks or it's 30 35 to 40 bucks and you get your physical cartridge and then you still have to do a partial download or they just do digital only i mean there was really that was the only those were the only two options so they they kind of went in the middle they said you can get up you can get the box and everything but it's going to be digital so i mean i rather like i rather have it be physical but i understand i mean I'm, I'm not even i'm not even like super mad i understand what they're doing i mean i get it but I mean, it's not preferable. Definitely not preferable. I would, I'd rather have them do a regular physical cartridge, but you'd probably have to pay more. It'd probably be $40 for that. And they're thinking, should we charge 40? 
or should we make it, make the price the same? Which one should we do? So they're thinking, they're thinking, and they're thinking, and they said, hey, you know, we'll just do this. Basically make it a digital only game, but at least we'll give you the option to have a box art. You know, so there you go. You can't sell people just a box for $30 with a digital code. I wonder how big how big the game is because 40 uh, on the cartridges might be it. Well, you can you can totally do that. People sell digital games all the time. <laughs> what? I don't understand why you're saying that you can't do this. Like this is some type like why can you not do this? If you can charge 30 if you can charge people $30 for a digital game on the eShop, why can't you charge people $30 for a digital game that you go why how is it any different? from a download code that you buy at a store. Have you ever bought a download code at a store? Like there's been download codes that are like 30 bucks or whatever the case for the game is. It's the same price as, the, it's essentially a, buying a download card. I don't understand why this is such a hard concept for people to under, like, for, like why, why can't you? If you can charge 30 digitally, why can't you charge the same price in the store? Now, if they charge you 40 for the box with the code in it, then I understand. I'll be like, yeah, you can't charge people $40 for a, a, a digital box with this but I don't understand why you say you can't do that like <laughs> it's the same price on the eShop so either you go into the store because this game was going to be digital only this was going to be a digital only they're offering you an option to get some box art if you want box art that's essentially what it's going to be otherwise we've seen other developers just say it's digital only on the switch you get you get no box art you get nothing all you get is digital only we've seen that plenty of times so that's what that's what I'm saying here. People are getting outraged because they're literally giving you an option to get a box, to get box art. Would you want them to take away that option? They're not charging you more for it. This is a digital only game. Th that's essentially what this is. This is a digital only game because of the price of the cartridge. This is a digital only game. So they're just giving you an option to get it. And it seems like more people are upset over the option in the first place than, than it not being physical in the first place. <laughs> That's what I that's what I find hilarious. People are more upset over the option and the fact that this game would have just been digital only. If they would have came out, it's semantics at the it's semantics at the finest. If this game would have just came out and been a digital only, people are like, oh it sucks, but it's digital only, whatever. Because there's been hella games that are like that. For example, Hellblade. Hellblade is the same exact price as this. No did, Hellblade is digital only. Did we see people making rants on Hellblade? Did we see people getting Upset and butthurt about Hellblade. We saw nothing about Hellblade. And Hellblade is digital only. <laughs> it's the same price. It's the same price. It's the same type of game. Big, you know, huge graphics game. Nobody got upset and butthurt about Hellblade being digital only. But they offer you a box. Ah! <laughs> Hellblade of Portos. And this is a port too. What do you mean Hellblade? They're both current generation ports. What you talking about, homie? What do you mean Hellblade a port though? Hellblade start, Hellblade is a is, is an eight generation game. It's a PS4, Xbox One, PC game. Young Blades, Young Bloods is an eight generation game. What do you what do you, what does that have to do with the switch the switch version of port two? <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, it's because Hellblade never promised retail copies. Um, either did Sonic Mania at first. Did I don't ever recall uh, the Young Bloods promising a retail copy? From what I understand, I never said that they said I never I never saw that. But if you can show me something to where they they said there's going to be a physical cartridge with uh, Young Bloods, let me know. Uh, Christopher with the dollar ninety nine donation through Super Chat says at least the box is better um, a better deal than the eShop. Yeah, if I if I was actually interested in Young Bloods, I'm not. But if I was actually interested in Young Bloods, I would pick up. I I would go to the store and pick up the, the box just so I can have the box art. But then again, I buy games and don't play them, so what's inside the box doesn't even matter to me. It's the fact that I get the box art to show off on my shelf. So I'm different. I'm weird when it comes to that. Because like I said, I buy games and keep them sealed up and never play them anyway. So so yeah. Let's see, Hellblade and RE4 physical. The problem with RE4 was that the fact that the price was the problem with RE4. Uh, let's see, Murdoch Rogue says, my personal opinion is that if it's digital only, it should just be on the eShop. If it's physical, then it needs to have a cartridge, but whatever they do, it's their game. If you don't like it, don't get it. That's true. That's true. I don't I don't see the problem. With, this game was going to be a digital only game. I don't see the problem with them giving you the option. That, that's, that's the thing that I'm saying. I don't see the problem with them giving you the option. Like, this was going to be a digital only game. There was not going to be a physical version of this game. Um, at least that's what, that's not what it, obviously by the, by the way, there's not going to be a physical only of this game. 
So um, if they give you the option to get box art, oh, I'd be like, all right, cool. I'm going to go get, I mean, if you if they give you the option, I'm going to go there and get the box art. I mean, that's what I would do, but not everybody's like me. Um, Jetty says, uh, later, OJ. Hope you feel better soon. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. I tried to post proof. Where they? Where, where is it at? What you talking about? Don't call me Danny. You said, uh, go to a store. Hold up. You, uh, more options, more problems. LOL. Pretty much. Um, Hellboy made it clear it was digital only. Wolf Youngblood didn't. That's the difference. Well, where where was it to where they said that it was going to be physical? Like, on the Switch. Like, where did they did they say that from the beginning? Like, I, I don't know. I mean, if they did, then that's cool. Then, okay, then that's their bad for making it seem as if it was going to be physical, a real physical copy, but then it wasn't. So if they were deceptive... Let me know, but I don't recall ever covering anything where they said it was going to be, like, there was 100% it was going to be physical. Like, I don't recover that, or I don't remember seeing that or anything like that. I see it doesn't say anywhere on the box art that it's a code. Other games like Fortnite have similar situations, um, do have one. Okay, anywhere on the box art, okay, okay. Um, yeah, I usually just don't look at box art. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the thing. Like, a, a box art can just be a box They're just showing off the... They're just showing off the game, like saying it's coming to all these systems. What are you going to say? I mean, you know, so they're going to show like, I mean, you can show like a little eShop thing. So you can do that as well. Uh, but I don't, I don't really, I don't really put any stock into it until I hear from the developer. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I guess for some other people that obviously like they, they assume things. But for me, until I hear from the developer, until I hear them say, oh yeah, we're going to be doing physical or we're going to be doing a cartridge or whatever the case is until, because like box arts aren't ever final until they're final. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, from what I understand, it does seem like there definitely was not enough clarity from the beginning. If they, you're going to do digital only, then you guys are absolutely right. They should have just said, yo, this is game is going to be digital. From the beginning, they should have just said the switch version is going to be a digital only or panic button should have came out and said, yo, this game is going to be digital only, you know, um, blah, blah, blah. But they should have been a little bit more clear, clear on that. So I can see, I can see where, but, but, but like I said, even if that's the case, whether they were more clear at the beginning or they're more, they're not as clear at this point or whatever it is, the game still doesn't come out till April, May, June. I think it's July, right? The game still has like months to go. Um, so whether they're going to come out earlier or later or whatever the case is, I mean, like to me, I mean, it's semantics at that point. Whether they say okay or they say they say it now or they say it before, it doesn't change the fact that the game is just going to be digital only. Like that doesn't that doesn't change the outcome. You know, the game is digital only. Um, shout out to Fury Tiger with the doll donation. Um, uh, and he says, Torgra Day Theme. All right, all right, Torgra. We're going to play some Torgra Day Theme for you guys. Thank you, Fury Tiger. Appreciate that. Appreciate the, uh, the, um, uh, the, do the doll donation. Um, all right. But yeah, you guys know how I am, man. I'm I'm pretty low key. You guys know I don't care about video games. Like <laughs> y'all know I don't. So don't expect me to get all crazy and angry and rage and do all that because I'm not. I'm not going to. But you guys know how I feel, though. You guys know how I feel about um, when it comes to physical. You know, I rather have physical copies of games. That's just how I am. I rather have physical, so I get it from that point of view. We don't know how big the download is. We don't know how big the download is. Uh, it doesn't say, um, all right, all right. I already read that. Yeah, but, but, but like I said, yeah, the box art isn't final. There's not a final box art, so. To be honest, uh, you'll buy it or you won't. People who, are, who aren't who are obsessed, uh, aren't obsessed with physical only will be fine. Yeah, and that's why I said, like, and Jazzy, that's the reason why I said when, um, when somebody said it's unacceptable that they're selling a physical box with the digital code, I'm like, how is that unacceptable? If you've ever bought a digital game that also has a physical copy in the stores, then that's hypocritical. Because everybody here has bought a digital game before. Everybody here has bought a, has bought a digital game that's also probably offered physical as well. So it's not unacceptable. I, I just There's a lot of people that like digital. There's a lot of people that, that like digital. There's a lot of people that like... It's like I, they treat it as like iTunes or they treat it as like... Um, whatever the only thing that i got a problem with jazzy is where i kind of be like no 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 hold up here is streaming only that's when i'm like okay that's a problem because it's reliant upon internet connection like only internet connection so if you go to a cabin i don't know somewhere and you don't got internet connection or if your internet connection cuts out your game cuts out too your game stops so or your game slows down you know that's the only thing that i have an issue with but digital 
it's not preferable for me to go digital, but I buy digital games. I've bought digital games before. Um, don't like it the most, but digital is accepted by many, 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 many people. So, I mean, look at PC and Steam, right? Somebody talked about that. PC is pretty much all digital. And people, hardcore gamers love PC. People, hardcore gamers love Steam. You know, so digital's been accepted for a long time, you know. Physical's a little bit different, obvious, or like with the consoles, it's a little bit different. More people usually have more space on their hard drive, you know, on PC, but it is what it is. David Gaming says, I'm glad this came out because I had pre-ordered it and I didn't know it was digital only. That's um, that's what is upsetting and it's not advertised as a download when you pre-order. Yeah, exactly. They should There should have been more, um, more clarity on that one. Exactly. Uh, this is Torgoroth. Turbo rock, my man. Um, BC says, uh, The Wolfist on Youngboy debacle is exactly why I've been trying to say to you that it's so hard to get physical games. Many of these developers are just cheap when it comes to the Switch. I want to say it's so hard to get physical games. I mean, there's a lot of physical games, like a lot of retail games that are physical. You know what I'm saying? Like most of the games that come out on the Switch outside of like the eShop, but most of the big games from developers, they all have physical versions. I think people kind of take, people kind of take like one thing and then they try to expand it. This is not, Youngbloods isn't, isn't a full game guys young bloods it's it's literally this is what young bloods is it's literally it's like torn of the golden country it's like dishonored uh whatever dlc with, with the with the uh, african-american lady it's it's like that it's not it's not the full like big huge wolfenstein game that we got before or it's not like doom this is an expansion this is basically a standalone expansion they also did this before um with the original wolfenstein well not the original but the the wolfenstein the new order there was an expansion too that you can buy separately so this isn't like a, a big full length game like that this is essentially an expansion like torn of the golden country it's not the it's it's not the, it doesn't have everything that the the regular game has it's cheaper so um let's see i hope you're feeling better though bro i'm i'm feeling okay man Let's see here. Um, no, the PS4 and Xbox One version of the game doesn't come with the code because it's because it's a Blu-ray. Blu-rays are way cheaper to produce. So if Nintendo used Blu-rays, then they it probably came with it. But this uses a cartridge. Cartridge is more expensive to get the whole thing. Those cover those give you more data, you know, on the Blu-ray. So you can't sit there and compare it directly. Anybody who sits there and tries to compare Switch directly to PS4 and Xbox One when it comes to manufacturing costs, you have no idea about manufacturing um every single time if a developer makes a game on switch compared to ps4 and xbox one it's cheaper to manufacture ps4 and xbox one game than it is to do a switch game with the cartridge sizes it's just that's just fact blu-rays are just cheaper <coughs> they're cheap as hell switch cartridges aren't um so yeah if the switch if if the if the ps4 version is 40 gigabytes I mean, you're going to have to download most of it anyway. There is no 40. I mean, it wouldn't even, they're not going to pay for a 32 gigabyte cartridge and then charge you and then charge you $30. That's literally flushing money down the toilet. Take, take a bunch of money and flush it down the toilet. That's basically what they're doing. If it's 40 gigabytes, maybe they even cut that in half. They cut that to 20 gigabytes, right? So if they cut that to 20 gigabytes, that's still, that's still, you'd have to use a 32 gigabyte cartridge. It wouldn't fit on it, or it'd be a 16 gigabyte cartridge with a four gigabyte download, even if they cut it in half. They're not gonna, and then the price would go up. They'd have to be, otherwise you're just, you're just got, it's just, you're just bleeding money. Um. Oh, so, or, sorry, my, oh, the deluxe. Okay, you're talking, oh, never mind. You're talking about the deluxe edition for $40. Okay, got it, got it. Uh, no game should be more than 20 gigabytes. They need to learn compression from Nintendo. Man, it's not... But Nintendo's had games over 20 gigabytes, though. That's the thing. Nintendo, I mean, Nintendo in the past, like, with some... Like, they've... I mean, they've had games that are kind of big, too. So, I mean, like... They usually don't, though. Uh, shout out to Fear Tag with the doll donation. Blessing us with music on this nice Sunday. And he says, um... Wh uh, where we used to be. Xenoblade Chronicles 2. All right. Thank you so much for the donations, Fear Tag. I appreciate it, my man. Where... We used to be. All right. Um, all right. Take it easy. Um, take it easy, Vesper. Thanks for coming out to the stream. 
Um, some games have to be. I mean, if you're thinking about it though, um, VC, some games have to be over 40 gig or have to be huge file sizes because of 4K. If you want 4K and the best graphics, that's gonna take up file size. It's like think about it. You 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 edit videos, right? If you edit a video, let's say you edit a, vi a 10 minute video and you put it at 720p, that file size is gonna be smaller than if you put it at 1080p. <coughs> and then if you put it at 4K, the file size like quadruples or whatever. So sometimes it's because they offer the 4K options. It's not about compression. This is about it's just about the fact that. The game, you know, it's just like there's 4K. Um, let's see, Big Mo 375 says, "Sup, OJ? What's up, man?" DJ King says, "Yeah, if people really wanted uh, the game, they would get it." Yeah, that's true. People who want the game will get it. They don't have to be happy about it, but a lot of people who want the game will get it. Um, yeah, higher fidelity definitely increases file size. Exactly, exactly, and we're to the point to where graphics are so good fidelity music remember music quality also increased like think about like the the the, the playstation 4 version of dragon quest 11 echoes of an elusive age like the file size probably would have been bigger if they used um like better quality music but the quality of the music in that is horrible so it's interesting that dragon quest 11 on the switch like what file size that's going to be is that going to be on a 32 gigabyte cartridge because they're using orchestrated music but i don't know what they're going to do the music's definitely going to sound better but it's gonna be interesting. I think maybe because the resolution isn't as high, maybe that they save file space there. They they cut, Nintendo helped them optimize. Um, but either way, I think it's gonna be a 16 gigabyte cartridge. But we'll have to wait and see. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. Um, we don't know the file size of Wolf 2, but 20 ish and Switch, so it's a smaller game. Um, this should be smaller in file size. An 8 gigabyte cart plus download seems reasonable. At least for the deluxe edition, but people hate that too, though. I mean, like people don't like. I mean, if you get a eight, if if you get a cartridge, an eight gigabyte cartridge plus a download size. I mean, people still don't like that because you still have to go online and download stuff. It's still like, it's still a partial download. So I mean, yeah, that's better, but you can't charge thirty for that. Even if it's, you you cannot charge the same price for that, because the cart manufacturer, even an eight gigabyte cart costs more is more expensive than. A Blu-ray, so you'd have to, you'd either have to lose money on it, or you'd have to increase the price to increase the price up a bit. There's no getting around it. Um, so yeah. Let's see. Um, I take parcel download plus car over no option for physical. Yeah, that's better. That's better. At the same time, I mean, for me, if you're downloading most of the game digitally anyway, I mean, it's just like. At that point, I'm just like, eh, you know, yeah, I, I would take that option, but it's not like I'm, I'm like, oh, I'm cool with that. It's not like I'm happy with that option because you still need to download a lot of the game anyway, you know. So, so yeah, it's like whatever. I, I personally just like to have the whole game on the cartridge. That's that's preferable. I mean, when you start down splitting it and all that. Now, I understand for like what like Capcom does. Capcom does like if they like their collections, you get one game fully on the cart, and then there's a download code for the second game. That I'm like, okay, well, just one of the games is digital. The other game, you actually get you get the full game on the cart, you know? Um, so, to me, it's like, okay, that's different. But when a game is partial, I'm not of the biggest fan of a like, partial download. Uh, shout out to Fury Tiger. Once again, blessing us with this music train. Another dollar donation. Then he says, more our game theme. Absolutely. I think Fury Tiger, that make, I think that makes you... Oh, no, never mind. Matthew did 10. <laughs> um... All right, so more our game. So yeah, but I don't necessarily do. I don't. I don't got a problem with people that are upset with it. That's fine. You can be upset. Get some rest, OJ. I'll get some rest when I die. Let's see. It. It's crazy on Nintendo fit so many songs into all smash ultimate yeah 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 language file sizes too especially if you have like voice languages audio takes up a lot of space i like how doom was on the cart but you can download the multiplayer yeah but doom's also 60 bucks though you know so Yes, Wolfenstein would be a digital download only for me. Oh, okay. 
Christopher says, how long uh, do you think uh, before 60 gigabyte cards are cheap as Blu-ray? I don't know if that'll ever happen. It'll be a long time. Nintendo needs, Nintendo needs to evolve the tech. Um, Nintendo needs to evolve the tech better. They need to work on getting that tech cheaper. That's why when somebody said, oh, I, I hope Nintendo adds support for huge hard drives, I'm like, no, no I don't want that. I want them to focus on adding support for better the file sizes on cartridges. That's what needs to be, that's what, that's what they need to be focusing their attention on. Cartridge file size and the prices. They need to do R&D on that tech. We need to get the price down ASAP. Most games just have unused assets on them. Assets to them, yeah. Because the thing about games, guys, if you, here's the thing. If if a lot of times when you build something, if you try to remove that thing that you already built and you're not using it, it can break the game or it can create extra work for you. So a lot of developers just build on top of that instead of removing it. You know? So that's why there's a lot of unused assets in games. Like, that load up the file size. Um, Models, he says, I really wish Nintendo would eat the cost of bigger cartridges or reduce the price so that third parties wouldn't be so tempted to cheap out. That's not a good idea. That's not a good idea. Let me, t let me give you guys a number of reasons why that's not a good idea. Eating the, eating the cost of file... Even eating the cost of cartridges would deteriorate their, their their cash flow coming in as a capitalistic business that is not a good idea if you were model z i can see it from from your consumer point of view but if you're a businessman if you're nintendo and you're sitting here taking millions of dollars and hit revenue because of that you're not gonna do that no smart businessman no millionaire or billionaire or whatever the case is none of them are gonna sit there and, and eat the cost of all that that'd be absolutely nuts considering how good games sell on the switch That'd be absolutely nuts and a very, very bad idea. To in investors would would rip you a new one. That is not a good idea from a business point of view. Now, from the consumer point of view, obviously that would be great. But from Nintendo's point of view, because I look at it from both sides, that would be a very, very bad idea. <laughs> if you were in Nintendo's spot, you would not do that. If you were, if you were like running Nintendo, if you were Furukawa, you would not do that. You're saying that because you're a consumer. But if you were Furukawa or if you are you know, um, Takahashi's, or if you're anybody that said you would not, that would be like, hell no, we're not doing that. Hell no, we're not going to do that. So I can see why you're saying it, but there's no way that's going to happen. That is a pipe dream. I mean, that, that that's essentially, you're literally eating millions upon millions upon millions of dollars every single year. Like it would be, it, and it would show up in your, in your, um, in your financial reports. It would show up, you would, you, there'd be a huge hit in net in, in profit. Um, so I would, I wouldn't, if I was running them, I wouldn't do that as a consumer. Hell yeah, I want that. But if I'm running them, I wouldn't do that. Um, a third party developer needs to just not cheap out. You know what I'm saying? Um, but this game was going to be digital only. It's, it's, it's one of the, it's an unfortunate side effect of being able to play games any like cartridge technology and it being new. It's just, it's just how it is. That's, that's just how it is. And we just got to accept it until cartridges, car cartridges get cheaper and all that. So this is just how it is. But there's no way in hell Nintendo's going to do that. Think about it. Think about all the games that have come out, the big games. Think about all the sales that the big games have had. Think about stuff like uh, all the games that have came out, right? And Nintendo's just constantly eating the cost. Constantly eating the cost. Constantly eating the cost of that. They're, they're not going to do that. <laughs> That's not going to happen, dude. Um, shout outs to Andy Mine with the $2 donation. And he says, well, after getting fired as a doctor, I guess uh, back to the gaming desk again. Anyway, here's some music for you. Excuse me, a bit of bop, um, I would say. You should tell me what it is beforehand, so I know. Um, but I'll, I'm going to go to it. Okay, okay, Sonic Generations, got it. All right, also shout out to Fury Tiger with another dollar and says, and one last song before I go to bed, Counter Attack. All right, we'll get that Counter Attack going for you right after this song right here, Andy. Or right after this song, this song, right after Andy's song, we'll get that. Um, let's see here. I'm out of Nintendo for going for cartridges instead of Blu-ray with the download. Uh, the downside is expensive. Did this start out expensive and did it turn out becoming cheaper? Yeah, everything always becomes cheaper. Um, Blu-ray started out expensive. Blu-ray started out more expensive than DVDs. Um, but they were always cheaper from what I understand than cartridges. But yeah, Blu-rays were expensive at one point. But they ended up getting cheaper faster. 
Um, but like Sony didn't eat any costs or anything like that. They just, developers just ate the cost or it was digital only on PS3 back in the day. Um, but yeah. Um, let's see, RTX Gaming says bad idea. Yeah, it, it's, it's not a good idea for Nintendo to do that. That's definitely bad business. They would, it would show up on the reports and, and investors would revolt. I mean, that's when you'd actually see a revolt of investors. Unless Nintendo could hide it. Nintendo could somehow hide the cost somehow. Like, you know, they could, they could do that. But, I mean, it would be... Then, the, and no, you know another thing about that? Developers would start would start taking it... You know another problem with that? Developers would start taking advantage of Nintendo. They'd be like, hey, you know what? We're just going to do this because we, don't, we know Nintendo's going to eat the cost. You know? like So then they would just start, they would just start taking advantage of them. You know? So... Oh, uh, you said I think it's selfish to ask Nintendo to eat the cost of the cartridge. Well, it's just a bad business decision overall. But from a consumer standpoint, I see why somebody would say that. I mean, I, that's not the first time somebody said that before. I mean, like, look at this whole Epic versus, um... My voice is getting better, I think. Better calm down before it gets worse. Um, look at this whole Epic versus uh, Steam thing. Consumers aren't looking at it from a free market. Like, a, okay, well, can anybody get in and have success? They're looking at it from, I want Steam, I want Steam. This has my, my Steam, give me Steam. I don't care if Steam has a has a monopoly on the market. I don't care. I want my Steam. I want everything on Steam. They don't even care for an open market. They don't even care. They don't care that Steam has a monopoly. They don't give a damn. Um, they're not even looking at it from any other point of view. They're just looking at it from their own point of view. I want Steam, 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 Steam. Give me Steam, game on Steam. I want Steam. I don't care for anybody. I don't, I don't care. I, I, I like banging their table on over this type of stuff. So... It's like, that's how a lot of people think. They don't care about the other side of it, or they don't know, or they don't care, you know? Um, let's see here. Um, so, yeah. Actually, VC, I don't think Bethesda lost lots of money from Fallout 76. Apparently, Bethesda said that Fallout 76 was successful. So, I don't know if, I don't know if that's the case. Let's see, consumers don't care about how... And they're not supposed to. The thing about it is that they're not supposed to... I mean, I don't think consumers are supposed to care about that type of stuff. They're not... I don't think consumers have to care about that. I'm not saying that they need to care about that at all. I'm not saying that at all. As somebody who... who where I... You know, I have my own business too, you know? And as somebody who looks at things... I, I always look at things on both sides. So I'm just rationally looking at it. Personally, for me, hell yeah. That'd be great if Nintendo could somehow eat the cost and developers can put all, all these on cartridges and... We can have 32 gigabyte cartridges and 64 gigabyte cartridges and all this stuff and everybody can just eat the cost and everybody can just be fine. I'd be completely down with that. I'd be completely down with that. But I know that's not how logic works with business. I mean, that's just, you just got to accept it, you know? Um, you can always say something though. Like, you can always say like, hey, like, that's not cool. I mean, you can voice your concerns. Absolutely. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Like, I have no problem with people, you know, that voice their concerns and say like, you know, well, you know, there should be a physical option. Absolutely. I, I agree absolutely agree with that as well i don't have a problem with uh you know opposing like if somebody has a different viewpoint or whatever the case is that's fine by me i don't care um it's all it's all good like to talk about it that's good hopefully it doesn't happen again though you know but it, you know it will i personally believe that bethesda has a major issues with not releasing wolfstein young blood in physical form you personally believe that Bethesda has major issues of not you what do you mean Bethesda that major what do you mean by that Well, they should at least uh, regulate publishers abusing download half the game physical releases to protect the brand. Then again, I suppose no no worse than forced installs on PS4 and Xbox One. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. You're getting into a very sketchy area there, Model Z. I mean, you're getting into a very sketchy area when when you talk about that. Like I said, it seems like people are upset just by the fact that they offer the option. You know, it seems like people are more upset that uh, I that there's a box in there. If this was all digital only, I don't think people would be ups as upset. Like I said, Hellblade, nobody really got too upset with Hellblade. So, so yeah, um, yeah. Fall seven seventy six succeeded at being a failure to the consumers. I don't, I don't know about that, dude. I really don't. I, I think they're actually making money off that game. I personally, um. Sketchy in what way? Well, because you're saying that they have to start regulating people to do certain things. That's what it is. Like, you're saying, okay, well, you have to 
you have to do this. They should regulate them, uh, download half the game in physical. Like, I mean, the games are all different sizes, though. Cartridge sizes are all different ones. Like, every game is different. But yet, you're saying, like, oh, well, they're regulated. They have to have at least half the game on there. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, that gets into, like, a really weird area that doesn't fit because there's not there's not a bunch of different file sizes for cartridges and cartridges cost all certain different types of prices every game is different so are you saying they have to have at least half the game on here it's going to vary from every publisher to publisher and developer to developer and cartridge sizes don't come in they don't come in every single size it's like a i think it's like a one a two one two eight or like one two four eight sixteen thirty two and that's it you know so it's just it's just a, it's just a sketch area man yeah, exactly. It, it, it could be... It, 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 exactly. It's, it's unrealistic for them to say, okay, well, for every developer, you have to have half of the game on a cartridge, no matter what. So some developers are, oh, what if our game is 50 gigabytes? So we have to buy a 32 gigabyte cartridge, so half of our game fits on there. You know, like, that's just... It's it's not gonna... Developers would just be like, screw it. We're not gonna make a game on there. They'll just be like, no, we're not gonna make a game. That, that's, that's essentially what's gonna happen. You're just gonna have developers just say, nope, we don't need you. Which they did with the Wii U era, by the way. <coughs> to be honest, Nintendo gotta put their foot down and tell developers to stop being cheap when they're giving developers a re revitalized platform to for, uh, to garner more sales of their games. Nah, you can't do that. Nah, you can't. You can't do that, unfortunately. Like you said, it's unreal. That's un Yeah, you can't. You can't. I mean, there are some rules and regulations, but you can't you can't tell a developer you have to make a game on a physical cartridge. You can't you can't do that because digital. Like I said, if digital wasn't as accepted as it is right now, then maybe you can do that. But digital is fully accepted. Everybody everybody buys and plays digital games for the most part. So you can't force a developer to make a physical copy of a game. You can't. You just can't. How uh, Nindy Gamer says, How would patches even uh, how would patches even work with that policy? A game on an 8 gigabyte cart just can't have a 5 gigabytes worth of downloads. Yeah, it, it, that's why I said it, it's really hard to do. It has to be really hard to do. Let's see here. Uh, it, imagine having Switch cartridges like Final Fantasy 7 back in the day. What? Nintendo ordering devs that would make definitely lead them to be all, uh, alienating Nintendo. Yeah, exactly. If they force them, I mean, and that's kind of what happened with the N64, you know? So that'd be tough. Hey, did you guys know that Best Buy has a sale going on on games right now? You can buy a bunch, there's a bunch of, there's Battle Chasers Night War for 20 bucks on Best Buy. 20 bucks. There's also other games. I bought I bought the weirdest games today, guys. I bought um I bought the Blob 2 for nine it's ten dollars at Best Buy. I don't think I have any interest in playing the Blob 2. I bought the Blob 2 for ten dollars at Best Buy. And I bought what what the hell did I buy again? I bought this weird I bought this weird game. A new set. Of, how much are the Joy Cons on Best Buy right now? Um, I'll get that donation in just a bit. Um, okay, I, I purchased this game called Gal Metal, Gal Metal World Tour Edition. Does anybody know about this game called Gal Metal World Tour Edition? Mm. Apparently, I bought one of the last few copies because there's no more in my area. It is bad. <laughs> it was it was it was eleven it was eleven dollars. So I was like, this looks this looks interesting. I don't think I'm gonna, I don't think I'm gonna play it, but it was eleven dollars, so why not? Um, Andy Mine with the two dollar donation says, "Well, sorry for not mentioning the song." But I will, um, but I will, um, but I will do it. Right now, it's another song from Song Generations, another of my favorites. All right, thank you so much, Andy Mine. Thank you for the two dollar donation. 
I appreciate it. another two dollar donation. I appreciate it. Elite Ninja Andy Mine. You guys give it up for the people uh, helping out the stream today, man. I appreciate that. Seaside Hill. Still eighty dollars. Oh, okay. You didn't, even get, you didn't even really get a discount. I'm all I'm all digital anyway. I don't have to deal with this nonsense. It just sucks for collectors and physical buyers. Yeah. Well, collectors, it's about the box anyway. For collectors, I'm a collector. It's about the box. For me, at least. So yeah. Um, Gal Metal is not terrible, but Gun Gal Gun greater than Gal Metal. Okay. Beast says Gal Metal is not terrible. Okay, hold on. I already read. Oh no. Okay, Beast, you said that. Okay. Dave Gaming says these developers are messed up because Japanese territories receive physical games like Okami and Onimusha Warlords. Yet over here, they are dig available digital only. Yeah. I can I can explain to you why. So the reason why Japanese developers do physical. It's because of the cost of shipping and the amount that they're going to have to ship. So here in America, we have a lot of people, right? And shipping costs are expensive as hell to ship from Japan where they're manufactured all the way to America on boats. It's expensive. So in Japan, Japan's, Japan's small. It's a, tiny, it's a tiny island at the end of the day. A whole bunch of little tiny islands kind of all put together. So it's way cheaper because it's domestic, right? So think about it as like a... Think about it as like, like, a, like an economics class. If you're importing, or think about it, like let's just say, it's much cheaper for you to go pick up something than for them to ship it to your house, right? Sometimes there's free shipping or whatever, but it's a lot cheaper to do that. So essentially think of it as like, instead of doing shipping and where you have to pay money, it's in-store pickup, right? So think of it that way. So that's exactly what the reason why Japan gets the physical copies of stuff, because they one, they have to produce way less to satisfy all the needs of people in Japan. And two, it's domestic, so there's no shipping cost. They just go in-store pickup trucks, delivery trucks. So it's way cheaper, right? Than shipping on a boat and sending it across half the, sending it across the world, you know? Way, way, way more expensive. So that's the reason why. Yeah, Japan is about the size of California. Exactly. It's literally... Japan is a fraction of the size of the U.S. A fraction. It's just California, about. You know? And it's much cheaper for them to domestically do it. Now, for some reason, if the cartridges and everything were manufactured here in the U.S., then we, this would be a completely different thing. If there was manufacturing plants and everything, but that's not the case. And manufacturing plants are, uh, plants are expensive as hell. So, there you go. Um, am I sick? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sick. Um, I, I know, um, Gal Metal, that's, uh, t uh Tak Fuji's game? Fuji's? Fuji's game? Oh, the crazy guy from E3? Okay. Excuse me, um, I thought it was shipped on planes. Hell no, it's not shipped on planes. That's super expensive. Nintendo one-time airlifted switches in order to try to supply, like, meet, meet the demand with supply. They airlifted switches, but that costs way more money. Airlifting costs way. Think about it as like when you go to, like when you go to like U UPS or something like that, right? Like if you want to do airmail, like with UPS, it's way more expensive. It gets there faster, but if you do ground shipping, it's cheaper. So think of like a boat as ground shipping, and think of. And um, airplane is like the, the oh, overnight or whatever the case is, the more expensive shipping. Um, if you guys have questions, feel free to put your questions in the chat. I'm more than happy to answer your questions. What about Mortal Kombat 11 on the Switch? Um, from what I understand, from what we know at this point, we don't have full details, but it seems like it's going to be a regular cartridge. So we'll have to wait and see. I'm ready for you to go, you're done? Why? <laughs> Shoutouts to Gaming with Zach. <laughs> 
Let me take a look at your channel, dude. Hmm. You, you look at products, you look at We Happy View Deluxe Edition, Nintendo Joy-Con Pair. Alright, we got nine subscribers. Keep doing your thing, man. You got more views than you got subscribers, so that's good. Keep get, Hey, keep on doing those videos, and you'll get people to subscribe to your channel, man. Finding games are usually much smaller and file size than other genres. Sometimes, yeah. What are your thoughts on Reggie's final week as president of Nintendo America? I've already talked about I already talked about my thoughts. It's cool, but it's he's I already gave my thoughts on that. Um I already had, I have a video where I talked about it. But it's his final week. We already knew this was gonna be his final week, so I've moved on. Uh this song uh Andre, this song is Seaside Hill Modern from Sonic Generations. Everyone is feeding the troll. What troll? Where's the troll? What do you? Uh, I'm not. I'm not paying attention. Is there a troll here? What troll? If you guys have questions, you guys tag me at player essence or hashtag player essence. I'll be more than happy to answer questions for a bit longer. Reggie's only retiring people. He ain't dying. Yeah. All right, so guys, stop arguing in the chat here. I'm just, I'm just gonna start timing out people who are arguing about dumps about video games. Uh, Yellow Kazoo, I have the Twitch chat open. I do. I think Yellow Kazoo, you said yeah, Wolfenstein thing is dumb. Like to be honest, very strange. Yeah, I got, I got the Twitch chat open. There's just not a lot of people on Twitch right now. I'm talking. Um. So yeah. You guys, calm down. Give me some good questions to answer. <clears throat> Solidus T, what are you talking about? They're probably gonna send physical copies of some to some upscared country. Like, what? What are you? What? <laughs> Richard Taku saved the world. This player since LJ. You watching WrestleMania? Nah, I don't. Wa I don't watch wrestling anymore. Wrestling, wrestling. I used to watch wrestling when I was younger, man. When I was a kid. I used to watch wrestling. I even went to like a live show, SmackDown. I went to a couple of them. There was like when I was in college too, there was like a SmackDown that came to um, the Fresno State. So I went to that one too. And it was all right, man. But I mean, I'm not, that was the last time that I even watched wrestling was like 10 years ago. I think there was a time that my mom was watching it like a couple of years ago and I saw it. Like wrestling's cool, but I just don't, I don't care. Um... Angel says, OJ, when developers release digital content on the eShop, does Nintendo make money on their content? Absolutely. It's called royalties. Yeah. Um, Alonzo Vine says, what do you, uh, what, what you think of Criteria de debunking those F-Zero Wii, Wii U rumors? Yeah, I got to get into that. I got to research that a little bit more. Criterion uh, debunking that? Yeah, because Casey Hudson or whoever it was, who was, not Casey Hudson, but the guy who was, the guy who was leading Criterion literally said, that like that's that was like documented that he said that now they're trying to say that oh that never happened i mean that's interesting somebody's lying somewhere um have i played more of super dragon ball heroes no i haven't played more since after i downloaded or after i played it the streamed it not yet just because i've been busy with other stuff um what other games are on sale so we do have um, also, what else is on sale? There's some other games. Let me look up the rest of the sales for you guys. Greenhawk says, which Xenoblade is your favorite? I finished the first one. I'm about to beat Xenoblade X. Uh, my favorite is probably Torna, the Golden Country. Hmm. Think 
good look. Did I get the Power Rangers Switch game? I haven't got it yet. I thought I was going to get a review code, but I never did. I haven't got it yet. There's a bunch of controllers on sales and accessories. Kingdom Hearts Kingdom Hearts 3 is on sale for $39.99 at Best Buy. Shadow of War is on sale for $14.99. That's pretty good. I bought Shadow of War on the Xbox One. Kingdom Hearts is going to go down a little bit more, then I'm going to buy it. NBA 2K19. There's a lot of sales, dude. You guys check out Best Buy. Only the Xbox, only the Xbox version of Kingdom Hearts 3? No, the, the, I just saw the PS4 version of Kingdom Hearts 3 on sale for $39.99. Uh, Tales of Despair Definitive Edition on the Switch is $34.99. So you saved $15 there. Uh, WWE 2K19 is uh, $20. So that's good. Shadow of War is actually cheaper on the Xbox One. That's $9.99. So that's that's right. So it's actually cheaper than the PS4 version. Yeah, the Xbox One and also the PS4 version of Kingdom Hearts 3 is on sale for $39.99. Dragon Ball Fighters is still expensive as hell on the Switch. $47.99. Wait for Black Friday, it'll be 20 bucks. Oh, I just got a sore throat and a little bit of a stuffy nose. Uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance. That game is uh, 20 bucks. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. I might buy that on the Xbox One. Metro Exodus. The day one edition, that's thirty nine dollars and ninety nine cents. That game just came out, so that's not bad. Labo is forty bucks. The Labo uh, Toy Con vehicle kit, that's forty bucks. So you save thirty. Assassin's Creed Origins is thirty nine ninety nine. That's stupid because the other game Odyssey is better and it's cheaper. Salt and Sanctuary Drowned Tomb Edition on the Switch is twenty bucks. Scribble Knots is twenty four bucks on the Switch too. A lot of good sales. Brendan Stryker says, I know GameStop is usually overpriced, but they have a good sale right now. I got Lego Harry Potter on the Switch for 20 bucks. Assassin's Creed Odyssey for 20 bucks, yeah. Mm, excuse me. Assassin's Creed Odyssey is, um, I bought that game and I still haven't played it. <laughs> I, inst I installed it, but I still haven't played it. Um, Angel Nevis says, Did you, uh, do you think physical releases will still be around in the future? Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. NBA 2K Playgrounds 2 is uh, 20 bucks. Divinity Original Sin 2 is 30 bucks on the PS4. Um, the Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy on the Switch, that's actually not bad. That 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 hell is sold out quick. <laughs> it's 20 bucks. Or sorry, it's nine dollars, nine dollars and ninety nine cents. That that hell is sold out quick. For only ten bucks, yeah. Mm. Labo for twenty bucks in your area, okay. What else we got? We got um. Shining Resonance Refrain on Nintendo Switch. We got that for thirty dollars. SNK um, SNK Fortieth Anniversary Collection. I got that for thirty dollars. Paw Patrol on a Roll for thirty dollars. That's the game of the year. Oh, I almost freaked out here. This is the Prima Games Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Game Guide for ten dollars. I thought it was Smash Brothers for ten. I was going to say what? I'm buying ninety copies right now. Um. VC's favorite game, Fallout 76, is $39.99. Mm. Alright, I think that's it. In terms of uh in terms of deals. There's some more. So you guys can check out check out BestBuy.com. Got a bunch of deals on there. <clears throat> Got a bunch of deals on there, so it's pretty cool. Um, everyone's telling me to get rest. 
And my favorites are Smash, Torna, and Dragon Quest Rivals. Is Dragon Quest Rivals really one of your favorite games? Is it really one of your favorite games? Yo, that's crazy. Dang, that game, I gotta try it. I gotta try it out now, man. If you really like, you seem, you seem to really like that game. You seem to really like it. Um, all right, though, guys. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna take, um, I'm gonna take Matthew's advice, and I'm gonna go ahead and end the stream a little bit early, guys. I'm feeling sick, and um, <clears throat> let me see if I can rest up a little bit, and then if I can, I'm gonna get a night stream for you guys. So we'll, we'll we're gonna stream like Far Cry or something. So I'm gonna rest up. Um, I got some, this stuff has, this Ricola has some honey in it or whatever, so, um, make sure you guys check out my video on the channel, even though I was sick, you guys don't hear it on my, on my video yesterday, but man, dude, like, I was like, I had to do so many edit cuts, um, I had to do so many edit cuts last night for this, uh, Nintendo Switch Pro concept video, um, with, with Xenoblade. So you guys check out check out my please check out my video. Um, I just uploaded it this morning at six a.m. So I know a lot of you guys have already watched this. So check out that video, and also make sure you follow me on Twitter for all the latest updates. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry that I couldn't go the full two hours today. Um, and um, I will see you guys. Um, I will see you guys later. Um, like I said, I'm gonna rest up. See if I can. I, I might get another stream later tonight, like a night PE live. Um, if I'm feeling better, I'm feeling a lot better than I was before. So, um, if I feel better, then we'll definitely do one. If not, then I'll see you guys on Monday uh, for more content. All right. So thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it, and we'll see you guys very soon. Once again, hit that uh, like button before you go. Hit that like button. And I share share the video that I just did. Watch the video if you haven't seen it and share the video. All right, guys. See you guys later. Peace.